welcome again to another wonderful English read. I'm Laura from the library and today we are going to read a classic story. Yes, this story is Alexander and the Win of Max from the author Leo Lyon. I hope and you like it. Remember the same advice. It's important to stay home and stay safe, to take care of yourself and your family. Let's begin with this story, Alexander and the Win of Mouse. All Alexander wants was a few crumbs. Yet every time they saw him, they would scream for help or chase him with a broom. One day, when there was no one in the house, Alexander heard the squeak in Annie's room. He sneaked in and what did he see? Another mouse, yes, but not an ordinary mouse like himself. Instead of legs, it had two little wheels, and on its back there was a key. Who are you? asked Alexander. The mouse responded, I am Willie, the Win of Mouse, and his favorite toy. They don't care much for me, said Alexander sadly, mm. but he was happy to have found a friend. Let's go to the kitchen and look for crumbs, he said. Oh, I can't, said Willie. I can only move when they want me, but I don't mind, everybody loves me. Alexander too came to love Willie, the Win of Mouse. He went to visit him whenever he could. He told him of his adventures with brooms, flying thousands, and mouse traps. Willie talked about the penguin, the woolly bear, and mostly about Annie. The two friends spent many happy hours together. One day, Willie told him a strange story. I have heard, he whispered mysteriously, that in the garden, at the end of the pebble pot, close to the blackberry bunch, there lives a magic lizard who can change one animal into another. Do you mean, said Alexander, that he could change me into a win of mouse like you? The very afternoon, Alexander went into the garden and ran to the end of the path. Lizard, 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 he whispered, and suddenly there stood before him, full of the colors of flowers and butterflies, a large lizard. It is true that you could change me into a wayne of mouse? asked Alexander in a quavering voice. When the moon is round, said the lizard, bring me a purple pebble. At last, tired and hungry, he returned to the house. In a corner, he saw a box full of old toys, and there, between blocks and broken dolls, was Willie. What happened? he asked. Surprised, of course. Willie told him a sad story. It had been Annie's birthday. There had been a party and everyone had brought a gift. The next day, Will decide, many of the old toys were dumped in a box or in this box. We will all be thrown away. Alexander was almost in tears. Poor, poor of you, Willie he thought. But then suddenly something caught his eye. 
Could it really be? Yes. Yes, it was. It was a little purple pebble. All excited, he ran to the garden. There was a full moon. Out of breath, Alexander stopped near the blackberry bunch. Lizard, lizard, he whispered. The leaves rustled and there stood the lizard. The moon is round and the pebble is found, said the lizard. Who or what do you wish to be? I want to be... Alexander stopped. Yes, he stopped. Then suddenly he said, Lizard, Lizard, could you change Willy into a mouse like me? Mm. There was a blinding light, and then all was quiet. The purple pebble was gone. Alexander ran back to the house as fast as he could. Yes, and the box was there, in the same corner, but it was empty. Too late, he thought, and with a heavy heart, he went to his home in the baseboard. And yes, just there, something is quick. Cautionally, Alexander moved closer to the hole. There was a mouse inside, inside his hole. Who are you? asked Alexander, a little frightened. My name is Willy. Yes, it was Willy, but now he is a mouse and no more a win of mouse. Willy! cried Alexander. Oh, it's you! The lizard! The lizard did it! He hugged Willy and then they ran to the garden path. And there they danced until down. The end. Very good kids, we finish with this beautiful and classic story, Alexander and the Win of Mouse. Remember that it's important to read, so if you have a book at home, just give you the time and read it. You can read one book by day or by week. Thank you so much for being with me during all the English readings this year. Thank you for paying attention and have a happy holiday. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I send you a hug and a lot of love. Thank you, and I will see you the next year, 2021. Thank you. Bye. Kids, another important thing I want to mention is that you have reading comprehension activities like this with you. Please take a moment to do these activities and learn more about the story. Check the activity number below and answer it in your copies. Bye.